Tritronics presents Trained Retrieve for Spaniels, Retrievers, and Pointing Dogs with Jim and Phyllis Dobbs. Part 1. Hold. This is Spot. She's an English Springer Spaniel. And she, along with several other bird dogs, will help us show you how we teach the hold command. We've divided our trained retrieve into two commands, hold and fetch. We like to train hold as a separate command as it allows us to teach the dogs how to properly hold their birds and prevents hard mouth problems. If you have a dog that really likes to retrieve, hold may be the only command you'll need. If, however, you're going to go on and ask the dog to do difficult retrieves and blind retrieves, you want to continue and teach the dog fetch. This is shown in our second video, part two of this series. For our training, we like to use a, a model 100 or 500 collar on the continuous mode, because this gives us, us the ability to instantly increase as the dog's attitude changes. But whichever collar you use, be sure to find the proper level for your dog by starting at the lowest level and then just increase one level at a time. Now we're going to take Spot here and demonstrate how we can select that proper level to start our training with. Be sure to select the proper intensity level for your dog before using your Tritronics collar to motivate commands. The turn on switch plugs right into the three prong receptacle. We always start off testing the dog for the proper intensity level with level one. And we use only the bottom button, which is the low on the transmitter. If you have a collar that has both momentary and continuous stimulation, make sure that the toggle switch is set on continuous. What we're looking for is kind of a quizzical ex facial expression, like an insect flew by the dog's ear. It like <laughs> was that. very timely. That's what, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though I didn't push a button, <laughs> that's the reaction that we'd be looking for. So I'll go ahead and I'll push the, the bottom button and let's watch the dog's facial expression. There, that was it. This dog, a sensitive little pup, and she reacts just fine on that level one. That's all we're after, is a level which will cause the dog to react. To make the trained retrieve easier for both you and your dog, we use a training table. But before you start training the pup to hold, be sure he feels comfortable with being on the table. Throughout the trained retrieve, we're going to be using a training table. It's 16 feet long, so that it gives the dog a chance to move up and down and relax in between the training sessions. Now that doesn't mean to use our technique you have to run out and build yourself a training table. <clears throat> you could use either a fence post or a small tree to attach your dog to. But after you've been over and trained a dog on the ground a few times, you're going to be happy to stand up and use a training table. We like to make it both easy for the dog as well as the handler. Now Jim's going to get his English Setter Stealth and he'll begin with this puppy on the training table. First lesson we give the puppy when we put him up on the training table is just get him used to being up on the unusual surface. And we won't start his training on hold or fetch until he's learned to uh, be comfortable up here. So we'll just walk him up and down 
That's a good boy. Yeah. Come on. Stealth's a pretty outgoing little pup. So he's not upset by it. But hey. Well, food treat works great there for that. Just get his mind off of the unusual surface of the table and having view being up here is a, a pleasurable event. Come on. That's a boy, huh? Yeah, okay, there you go. That's a good boy. I don't think he'll jump off. So we'll just get him walking back and forth. Come on. Hey, there you go. Hey, okay. So we just try to make a game out of it and let him have two or three sessions of, of coming out and chasing back and forth up and down the table and getting a little food treat. And then when we get him up on the table, he won't be apprehensive. So that'd be the first lesson utilizing the training table. Now, Jim will show you how to rig the pup to the pole at the end of the table. Stealth's been up here a few times now. He's relaxed and enjoys the table. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting him used to being rigged up with the restraints here. So we'll, we've got a collar that goes through a hose clamp it makes it real convenient to slide up and down to adjust that collar strap to the height of the pup. So we'll just get it right up there. You want to make sure that you tighten him up against the post so that he can't back out of the collar strap. The dog learns that he can back out of that collar strap, he'll keep trying to do it rather than concentrate on learning the lessons we're trying to teach him. So we've got him up there and he's gonna struggle a little bit. I would too if somebody fixed me up that way. But he gets used to it pretty quick. Just gonna put these little Velcro fasteners on his legs just above the carpal joint so they stay in place. Then we'll clip them down here to this little screw in the table. Now I can't move his feet around so he'll be able to concentrate on his lessons. 